good start, isn't it? Starting with a cough. Um, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the next of our People Lab Element sessions. And uh, this afternoon, we're going to be talking to you about practical tools and techniques of employee engagement. Um, so I think it's fair to say that one of the most uh, common questions I'm asked when talking to people about engagement is, how can we actually develop it? How can we actually improve it? Tell us what we need to do. Some really good, simple, practical tools and techniques. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Although, to be fair, today is going to be more of a teaser session than a, uh, you know, an explanation session. Because there are a whole range of uh, fantastic tools that you can use to develop and improve engagement. And I've um, got a list of them here in front of you. So um, what we're going to do is just kind of uh, introduce some of these today. And then over the coming weeks and probably months, if I'm honest, we're going to take a little bit more time to go into a bit more detail around these different tools and techniques. And um, give you some, as always, some great takeaway resources to help you go away and start using some of them straight away. Um, what we find is that many of these tools you'll see when we go into a little bit more detail, they, they fit really neatly into the various enablers of engagement. So if you like, it's kind of taking the enablers one step further and saying, you know, if you want to achieve uh, improved strategic narrative, here are some tools to help you do that. If you want to involve your employees more, here are some tools to help you to do it and so on. Um, a couple I'd just like to pick out today, um, really around the strength-based approach to engagement. So um, the tools that we will we'll kind of go into a bit more detail on this um, are tools that I've found really help to move you from transactional engagement to transformational engagement. So taking that strength-based approach, i.e. let's talk about what great engagement looks like and how to get there, rather than the more traditional deficit approach, which is what isn't working and how can we fix it. And I have to say, these tools are... Um, some of the most effective that I've come across in um, all my years of, of working in this field. And we're going to get talk about things like um, appreciative inquiry. Please don't be put off by the name. Uh, it's an amazing tool that, that we use um, countless occasions with our clients um, to really help uh, move the dial on engagement. Um, we're also going to be looking at you know tools to help evolve your strategic narrative. So storytelling, using concepts and tools like um, big picture learning, visuals, those sorts of things. Uh, we're going to be looking at some um, specific tools to help you um, focus on employee-led change and involvement and delving into such things as viral change, some really interesting tools and techniques around there. Um, obviously, we're going to be looking at some specific tools to help you further develop your leaders and managers um, and, and also employee voice. And I think one of the kind of... Uh, you know, Sort of one of the sessions we will definitely focus on our People Lab People Managers Toolkit, which is tried and tested. We've been using it for about eight years with hundreds of clients, and um, it is proven to work. And I think that's the thing I'd say about all of these tools. They're all tools that um, we, as, as a company, have, have used over the years. We, we've been going, and actually before that, you used many of them in house. They're all tried and tested. We know they work. So we'll be able to kind of bring them to life with um, case studies and, and evidence to show you you know, how you'd use them, where you'd use them, and, and how they work, and the kinds of results that you get. So we'll be going into detail over the coming weeks and months of these different tools, so I hope that's whet your appetite for future element sessions. Um, we don't have a date, I'm afraid, for the next session, because uh, I'm just about to take my first holiday of the year, so I'm very much in need of it. So I'll be um, off for a few weeks, Katie holding the fort. So what we're going to do is, when I get back off holes, we're going to look at some dates and we'll get back to you with the next session it won't be too long though so you don't have to wait too long um, but we'll publicize the next session and hope to see you then thanks bye